everyone. Tonight I'll be making chicken pot pie and I'll be using my Dash Mini Pie Maker. What all goes into the chicken pot pie? 3 fourths cup frozen carrot and peas, 1 and a half tablespoons butter, 1 fourth cup finely chopped onion, 3 tablespoons flour, 1 half teaspoon dried thyme, 1 fourth teaspoon salt, black pepper to taste, 1 cup chicken broth, 1 fourth cup milk, 1 and 3 fourths cups cooked chicken cut into 1 half inch pieces and I'm just using the already refrigerated chicken, 1 sheet pre-made pie crust, and 1 egg. So let's begin. First thing you want to do is heat up your peas and carrots, then drain them and set them aside. Take a medium saucepan, medium high heat, and melt the butter. Dump in the onions and saute them for about four minutes. Mix in the flour, the thyme, and the salt, and mix that for about a minute. Then while whisking, gradually add the milk and the chicken broth. Kind of smells like stuffing. And you want to cook this for about five minutes until it thickens. And it is pretty thick, so I'm going to shut off the heat and set it aside for a little bit. And I forgot to mention to season it with pepper to taste. I like a lot of pepper, so I put in a fourth of a teaspoon. Take a mixing bowl, dump in your cut up chicken, and I cut it up into smaller pieces since it's going into a mini pie. And your peas and carrots and the three-fourths cup of the sauce and stir that up. Set that aside. Take your pie crust that has been at room temperature for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Take your little crust cutter, pie base, top, and we're going to cut four bottom bases out. And it's just barely going to have room for all four of them. and roll that out as well. And then you want to flip it over for the pie top and do four circles on that one as well. And then set that aside. Take your mini pie maker and preheat it and you do that by just plugging it in there's no on or off switch the light is on when the light goes off it's preheated while you're waiting for that to preheat you can make your egg wash with one egg and one tablespoon of water So the light went off, it is preheated. Carefully open it with a lip. Do not spray with cooking spray. Just take a little bit of oil and either brush it on with a basting brush or with a paper towel and put that on. Take your bottom crust Carefully put it in there, it's going to be really hot, and kind of overlap the little slits like that. Put
put about a third of a cup in the cavity there. Take your top and put it on top of the bottom one and give it an egg wash. Cut in a little slit so it can vent. Put it down there and let it cook for four minutes. After four minutes, it's almost done. It's a little bit raw right there, so we'll cook it for just a little bit longer. All right, so seven minutes. It's pretty close to being done. That's not too doughy. We'll let it cool for two minutes and then we'll remove it. So here it is. I took it out after two minutes. We'll let the unit cool for another three minutes before we add the next one. All right, so we'll try this again. Carefully put that in there. Overlap the slits. Put in our chicken pot pie mix. Now the top crust is supposed to poof up to the top of this. And I didn't see that happening with the other one, but. And then I'm not going to egg wash it clear to the end, because as you see, the other one's got a little bit burnt. And I'm not gonna put a slit in it either, because that's where it didn't want to get done at. So, well, wish me luck on that one. And we're just going to egg wash in the middle. And we'll cook that for about six minutes. All right, so this one looks a lot better. It um, cooked for four minutes and I didn't put a slit in it and I put filled it up with a little bit more filling. So the top crust did rise up to meet that. I'm going to let it cook for probably another minute because there's a little bit here that's not done, but I don't want to burn that. All right, so you don't want to use metal um, utensils to take this out. I have got a small enough spatula, so I've got two plastic forks here, and I just kind of get under the edge the best I can and hope it don't poke a hole in anything. And move it over. And there is the second one. It looks a lot better. We'll let the unit cool for three minutes before we add the next one. And that one looks like it's the best one of all. And the trick is to fill this up. When I made the pumpkin pies, they you didn't want them to fill up because they boiled over. But this one, you want to have them up a little bit more so the top crust can form. And egg wash just the center and four minutes and we should be all done. So here is the mini chicken pot pie made in my Dash mini pie maker. And rounding out the meal is bacon crunch. Let's get Dave to do a taste test. I assume I'm taste testing the... Mini chicken pot pie. Okay, it is a mini one. Well, the crust is nice and flaky. That's good. Mm-hmm. I like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.